Hello there, beautiful people. I've been asked what's the difference between a screenplay, a teleplay, and a play. Well, short answer is they're all scripts. A script for a film is a screenplay, a script for television is a teleplay, and a script for a play is, well, a play. Script is, of course, short for manuscript. The term has been used in theatre from at least 1884, originally before the Gutenberg Press. All plays had to be written manually, by hand, hence it was a manuscript, and became script for short. Screenplay is a play for the silver screen. You know that big sheet they bounce images off the projector at the front of the room? That's the screen. The screenplay writes what you see on it. Screenplays are a very specific, practical document. They must be written in Courier 12-point typeface, have a one and a half inch write margin, scenes to note, nor caps describe the interior or exterior location and whether it's day or night. Dialogue must be two by nine inches from the edge. Page count must be between 110 and 120 pages, but ideally not seven or one page correlated to the minute of one famous film inciting incident must be somewhere between page 30 and 35. And too many other rules to mention here. Teleplays are similar in format to screenplays, but they are often much shorter, yet they clock in at more than a page a minute because television is faster paced. There isn't one overall standard for teleplays. This is because of the practical needs of every television show is very different, and different writing teams often have their own in-jokes, idiosyncrasies, and shorthands. Now, if you're still watching, you're probably wondering, what's a scriptment, what's a treatment, what's coverage? We'll start with a treatment. It's a catch-all term that describes the sort of prose-like documents that look nothing like a screenplay, but give the feel for the style of the finished film and the story. They're often more detailed than a synopsis, but there's no real standard, and everyone will tell you what they think it should be. A scriptment is a sort of hybrid term that James Cameron used to describe the documents he would create that would have little bits and pieces of properly formatted screenplay scenes, but also have bits of treatment-like prose as well. It's more of a work-in-progress document. An outline is less detailed even than a treatment. It just gives the beats. The beats are the moments that tie together to make the causal chain of your story. Quentin Tarantino claims that he doesn't write outline. He just writes the manuscript, remember? And his hand just sort of writes and improvises as it goes along. Novelists, doctoral students, everyone who's not Quentin Tarantino who writes a large piece of writing probably uses an outline at some point to help them structure their ideas before they commit it to the page. Script coverage is a document written at a production company that gives an assessment of the script and may include a logline. Yes, I am way ahead of you, loglines. A logline describes a story in one or two sentences. I'll paraphrase Aristotle's logline for the Odyssey of Homer, and since it is 2,500 years old, it may in fact be the oldest logline in history. A man is absent from his household for many years, jealously watched by Poseidon and left desolate. Meanwhile, his household is in a wretched plight, suitors vie for his wife, abuse his property, and plot against his son. Tempest tossed, the man arrives at his household, is recognized by the right people, and goes about attacking and destroying all the suitors and surviving. Now, of course, this doesn't mention the Cyclops, the Sirens, it, it, nothing. It, it mentions virtually nothing. That would be in the outline. This is the logline of the Odyssey. But even this is too long by Hollywood standards. It usually is one or two sentences. Let's try and come up with one for an actual film. A violence-loving teenager accidentally kills and is convicted of murder, but is let out early when he is conditioned by doctors to become physically ill at the thought of violence and his much-loved Beethoven, which is a possible logline for A Clockwork Orange. Notice it doesn't describe the punk future aesthetic, it doesn't describe the whole story. Let's try another one for another film. A handsome working-class boy and a betrothed upper-class girl cross paths and fall in love on the maiden voyage of the Titanic. Much like A Clockwork Orange, we already have this conflict twist. The teenager in A Clockwork is sick at the two things he loves, violence and Beethoven. But the Titanic, not only is the romance somewhat doomed because she's betrothed in the class conflict, we don't even know that their romance will survive the voyage because we know the Titanic sinks. Spoiler alert. That's enough to tell you the story, so you can write an outline, expand the outline into a treatment, maybe the treatment into a scriptment, and then write the script. So just to conclude, teleplay, screenplay, play, radio play, these are all scripts. Originally scripts were written by hand, manual manuscripts for plays. And then they started writing plays for screen. I hope you're a little less confused, and until next time, I'm Constantine. Please stay outlined, logged lined, I mean, please stay sublime. <laughs>